The uh, Constitution, uh, basically starting decal duty. Uh, last I left off, I started with the uh, accreation uh, grid line decals and I uh, got the entire saucer on. There's a, a couple spots I'm still uh, more solution and smoothing it out. It is a tad bit crooked, just on the, uh, uh, it didn't reach all the way to the edge. I don't know why, but anyway, that's an easy fix, and I'll just take uh, basically a number two pencil and just uh, draw the, uh, finish out the lines on the, uh, on the uh, saucer here and be good as new. So I'm still working on that on the top, and uh, just slowly but surely it will get uh, smoothed out, and then I can start adding the uh, other decals. So while that dried, I uh, started putting on the bottom, put a couple of the JT uh, graphic ones on, as you can see. Just to make it look cool, uh, started the uh, uh, bottom of the saucer uh, grid lines, uh, as you can see. Uh, still putting solution down, smoothing it out, and uh, working. My only complaint with... Uh, uh, the grid line decals and it's not the it's not the company it's not the artwork or anything it's just the uh, I want to say the decal film it wants to uh, uh, curl uh, especially when you put it on and I guess I didn't put a uh, I put like two or three coats of a uh, future on here and it's still a uh, uh, don't really want to slide on a glossy surface it basically once you get it on it it uh, uh, stops and it's crazy but anyway uh, decals is just uh, you have to work to get it to look good so I'm about at the halfway point on the uh, bottom of the saucer and uh, probably a couple more days and I will be able to get that done and then uh, once it gets uh, if even, even if I have a couple of uh, not really air pockets but say a lumpy uh, smushed together uh, decal film I'll just go in with a sharp uh, knife and like cut out in between the uh, panel lines and then uh, more solution and be good to go so about another week on decals especially for the uh, saucers and I can start adding the the fun decals uh, the Jackson uh, as you can tell it's uh, all in primer I got the uh, base uh, all masked off got uh, the whole ship primered uh, at least basically a coat and a half I'm going to put one more on I had to go back in and uh, pop the uh, billet here off because it was uh, un it was crooked with uh, it wasn't lined up even with this one so I uh, put that on got the uh, little flagpole on uh, really got every part on except for the uh, uh, chains to go to the anchor which I will do that last and put a wash on them when I do uh, weather it. Uh, for the base color, I'm basically going to go with a, uh, a medium sea gray. This is pretty dark gray. I'm going to go with that and then uh, do shading and some uh, weathering. For the uh, bottom, uh, it's basically, uh, I want to say a red brown. I want to actually do more of a brown with, a more, with red in it so it'll look more... Uh, not navally like uh, you know naval ships where they have the red uh, the red hull but uh, more of a red brown that's uh, you know uh, like a wood color is best way to explain it and uh, that's really all I got uh, to do on that hopefully I get to paint this Sunday I will at least try I have a uh, model uh, contest that I'm being a vendor at next uh, this is upcoming Saturday, so there won't be no model building, but I will do a video of the model show so everyone can see what goes on uh, at shows like that. The uh, Colonial One. I uh, started uh, actually uh, putting laying down the base coat now. I did, I did a gloss, uh, and that was for to fill the cracks in the light block. I also uh, uh, basically painted the whole thing in acrylic. Uh, in, I don't know, in person you can see it. Uh, on video, you probably can't. It's actually two-tone in white. 
it's an acrylic white basically to an enamel white and I wanted it uh, kind of like a filter in a way where you have two different shades and then I'll go back in and put the uh, I'm gonna put the light blue on on the bottom and then basically the blue on the dark blue on top is basically decal but then I'll go in and shade the uh, panel lines and everything I got a little tulip I'm gonna have to do with the white tulip if you can see like the gap right there fill that in and then I gotta fill in where the uh, uh, canopy is but there you have it uh, the I haven't cut the tube yet it's actually going to go on a standard polar lights dome base and uh, I basically uh, took uh, Mr. Reamer it's already got a slit for the uh, uh, Mobius uh, Aurora stand I basically just took my reamer you can get this at the hobby store this is a uh, just a uh, waters out holes real nice and uh, I just shoved that in worked it in got it to the uh, depth of the uh, uh, diameter of the tube and then uh, insert it so it is removable so I can uh, put it on the uh, base uh, once I get most of the painting done so uh Colonial One's pretty much taking shape just got to add just a little bit more and then I will be done and start doing the uh, fun stuff the uh, weathering and decaling the uh, hot shot jet I did get the uh, top on. I added the uh, uh, cover in the back that uh, so they can make because it is a double seater in the movie, but they put the little cover on the back to make it a single seater. Got the uh, main wing on. My only complaint with the uh, with this kit right here is uh, I don't know if you can actually see it right through here on both sides. I can't get it to sit flush I've tried everything but anyway I got it glued down and then I'm just going to go and take some epoxy sculpt uh, put on there and just blend it into the hole it's an easy fix and just uh, more of an annoyance because it just didn't fit flush but anyway looks good so uh, epoxy sculpt is going to fix that in a couple days and then uh, I'll be ready to rock and roll I got all the uh, bottom sanded and I just basically got to after I get uh, some of the other places fixed and I'll go back in and scribe with the uh, old scriber scribe back the panel lines and I'll be ready to uh, paint and decal that too so that's what I got going on today got the hot shots jet we got the uh, colonial one uh, Jackson's in a painting dry dock and we are decal duty on the Constitution so stay tuned for the next exciting episode